Right, now, what I'm gonna to do today is show you how to upgrade uh, the Thermtech uh, devices for, for, via the new version of the app. This is version app 3.0, um, just been released. It's only on Apple devices at the moment. The Android ones is being uh, in the approval queue to come out in the Play Store. So first thing we do is we're gonna punch the three top lines, the top right hand side of the screen here. We're gonna to go to firmware download. Now we're gonna upgrade a VIDAR um, 360L. So I'm gonna scroll over to get to VIDAR L. And here it's gonna tell me which version of software is the latest. Now, version 2.0, which has just come out uh, for the 360L. So we're gonna hit the little down bo download button. It's gonna tell me what is actually um, changed. So they've updated the Wi-Fi signal a little bit, enhance it. Um, the range finder as well. Um, so you can turn on the directory calculation de default now to single ranging. One thing this all did when it first came on was automatically start ranging uh, continuously. Um, and the ballistic calculators can be set via the app, which is awesome because it's a little fiddly to do it via the actual uh, unit themselves. So we hit the update button and it's gonna go through and download the software. So it's gonna take a couple of minutes. What I'm gonna do is just pause the video here for a sec. Uh, not that you'll know it's paused, but when I come back, I'm gonna be on a different screen. <laughs> and then we'll go through the actual update process. So I shall chat to you guys in a minute. All right, now, <clears throat> I'm back. Not that you knew I left. Anyway, it's about to finish doing the update. Uh, sorry, downloading the update. And once it's downloaded, then we've just got to connect our Wi-Fi uh, to the scope. So in the scope, make sure you turn it, go to the hotspot menu, uh, not, not the Wi-Fi menu. Um, and once we have done that, we go into our settings here. We're going to find our VIDAR 360, which is this one going to want the passcode which is one two three four five six seven and eight and join this network okay uh, once that's done, i'm going to go back into my smart thermal app i'm going to press confirm now when i go back out to the menu here you can see that i've now see the vidar in this list i'm going to press connect device and then it's going to prompt me to say, hey, we've got a new version of the software. I'm going to click install new version. It's going to transfer it over. It's automatically going to reboot it. And then it's upgraded. Simple as that, guys. So that's the new upgrade process, uh, all done via the app. Um, yeah, Thermtech have made some really big inroads to improving this. It was already a great app, you know, all the controls and stuff that it has in it. But now just to be able to simply do these updates is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is how you upgrade uh, the Thermtech devices with the version 3.0 of the app. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.